Dan Radio Style. Hope everybody out there is having themselves a great day. Align hopes and expectations technique. Found this, and I think this is actually a pretty cool technique. One of the things that I think it does help with is it helps us deal with doubts. And I honestly consider doubts to be one of the largest blockers that most of us have when it comes to law of attraction. Doubts can come in a lot of ways. One, we might doubt this whole process and how our positive thought or, our, well, our thoughts actually are focus or what creates our reality. And we might doubt maybe that, um, that something's actually going to happen, right? Maybe it's not happening quick enough. Maybe we're not seeing the signs, maybe whatever, right? We might have doubts that the, the situation that we're trying to manifest is proper for us, right? But doubts can come in a, a variety of forms. This technique actually, I think, helps get to the core of the doubt without necessarily doing any sort of, you know, fancy, fancy schmancy psychology mumbo jumbo, something that we can actually do very easily ourselves and really figure out where, where's the problem within me. If there's a misalignment, I keep talking about alignment. You got to get your head and your heart in alignment. I think this is kind of similar too. frankly, it's maybe another tomato, tomato, maybe just another way to call it, but aligning our hopes and our expectations. So the way the technique goes is you close your eyes, obviously. It kind of helps when you're going to imagine. So obviously, if you're driving, this is not a good technique. It's not one where if you're behind the wheel, should not be trying this technique. But otherwise, close your eyes. And then you want to, what you want to do is you want to imagine what you want things to be like in six months. So six months out from where you are right now, imagine what you would like it to be like? What is it that you're trying to imagine? All right, well, imagine one of those situations that means that's definitely happened. Imagine some other aspects to it. Make it as real as you can, right? Like if it's maybe going to, you want to be with a certain somebody in six months and maybe, uh, maybe in all reality, you guys could get together within three, right? So maybe six months from now, you're actually going on a date at a fancy place, or maybe you're down at the beach frolicking, or you're maybe sailing or on someone's boat, or maybe you're flying someplace together. And what can happen when you build those, uh, those scenes like that, you actually are placing yourself past the point that's hard for us, right? A lot of us are like, well, I just want to be able to talk to them and face to face. Well, no, you really want to be in a relationship with them, right? But you keep thinking about talking to them or getting that text message back or whatever that little thing is when the reality is what is bigger than that. It's and, and we're getting hung up on little minutia that really, honestly, in the big end of the day, doesn't matter, right? Whether you got a text message or didn't get a text message, if, if, if you're still going to end up in your ultimate reality, your ultimate thing that you're creating, your area, your place, your person, whatever it is, then if they text or don't text, what well, doesn't matter? You're going to be with them soon. Just allow things to unfold. Allow people to miss each other. Allow uh, you know the, the moment to unfold, if you will. I, like I said, so you want to imagine it to the best of your ability. Then, once you're done really, truly imagining, putting all the pieces into it, is, you know, the five senses. We've talked about how when you imagine, the, the more you can make it real, the better. And feeling it, the whole concept, right? The, the whole, everything that you've ever read about uh, what visual, uh, visualizing is about, use those techniques in this. When you visualize it, when you're thinking, like, or, or, or visualizing, like I said. Now, the next point is you then think about where you're going to be in six months. And there's a little difference when it comes to thinking about, because a lot of the times that's where more of the logical mind will come into play. All right? So uh, if I'm imagining being a, an uber billionaire, uh, then, and then my logical mind's like, well, I guess we got to play the lotto every day because I can't think of any other way that you're going to somehow manage to create a billion dollars in your life. And so if you've got a misalignment, if, if one of the thoughts is basically the negative one or the, the thought you'd prefer not to have, or I'm sorry, the experience you'd prefer not to have. So again, you're going to think about what it's like for six months. And then one of these could very well be less positive, be more not, you're not getting what you're going after, or it's not going to be as good as you thought or something along those lines. Maybe there's some sort of one choice is better than the other. How about that? Either your imaginal scene was not as good as your thought because your thought actually could be like, no, I can totally do this. I am sure I can do this. And then your imaginal was like tough because you're having a hard time seeing it. You're having a hard, right? But you you believe you can do it. Well, then what you want to do is you take the one that, that you don't prefer to experience. You take the one that's least good. 
and you see it for a moment and then you start to fade it away. You start to just like fade it out, make it translucent, maybe just start to darken it up, whatever, however you want to imagine that in your mind. You imagine it disappearing, going away, going into the ethers, maybe going into the sun, any number of things you can do. It kind of sends it away. And then what you do is you then go back to the other image that you want, and you go back to imagining that. So just kind of run through it again. You imagine what you would like in six months. You then think about what you would like it to be in six months, whatever it is, right? What you would like to experience. And whatever one you don't like as much, whatever one doesn't seem good, you kind of hang on to it for a moment. You look at it for a few, and then you fade it out. You fade it out however that works for you. And then as soon as it's faded to black, you then go to the choice that you do like, and you kind of hold that back in your vision, and you should start to feel already better about it. You should already start to feel like, yeah, because I just made that go away. I've faded that out, so it's gone. So this reality is totally cool. And then your mind can be like, yeah, no, that's pretty groovy. If you still got the chatter, repeat this as necessary. Keep fading it out. If you haven't faded it out enough, I mean, you don't want to spend a whole gob of time thinking. You still want to spend the time imagining the reality you want to experience. Remember, focus-based universe. You don't want to spend uh, an abnormal amount of time trying to make something fade away. Now, again, if there's something that it's such an extreme, maybe you and the person got in such a fight, such an extreme fight, that I have a hard time believing that we can get together in six months even though that's what I'm trying to manifest. And no matter what I do about fading out that belief, it still sits there. Then what that tells me is that that's something that needs to be dealt with. So maybe there's a forgiveness that needs to come into play. Maybe there's some astral letters. I've, I've, I've talked about those many times. Search for them on my channel. Um, any number of ways that you can go. There's rubbing out. There's all this. You can fade it out. But ultimately, there's something probably there that needs to be addressed and dealt with. Maybe it's a self-love issue. Any number of things can manifest itself, but if something is making it impossible to believe, then you need to look at what it is you're trying to create. You need to look at what it is that is, is scaring you, is causing you to not believe, and we need to address that. We need to look that square in the face, give it a big hug, whatever it needs, wrap a bow on it. Maybe... Uh, astral letters, maybe do some meditation, maybe heal it, maybe forgive somebody or yourself. Maybe allow mistakes to happen because everybody makes them. It happens all the time. So any number of things. And that's the thing to keep in mind. Doubts are fine and okay, but if you can't really fade it out, if you can't really get to that place, then the doubt itself is a, a little more of a rooted issue that probably needs a little help and love. So hopefully that kind of helps with the big picture. So as long as we're imagining and thinking, finding out which one you like best, hopefully you like them both the same, right? Hopefully they, they complement each other, in which case you're fine. Move forward with, with the whole thing. But if they're different, then that's how you can kind of fade out that bad guy. You find the one you don't like, you fade it out, you blacken it up, you turn it gray, you sprinkle it into little pieces of dust and it blows away, whatever, however you want to imagine it, whatever creative uh, imaginal abilities you have, you know, come with it. Do it. Do it now. But once you've done that, then replace it back with the thing that you want, the good experience. Live that. Imagine that. Be that. And you will find uh, it is much easier to get to that, that destination when you get that nagging, doubting aspect taken care of. When you can get the doubter handled within our own minds, it's amazing what we can accomplish. And the doubter really seldom... If ever, I don't know, I'm having a hard time thinking of when it ever helps me, right? The doubter is just, I mean, sometimes it's right, but usually I get perceptions that are a lot quicker and snappier. Doubter, to me, is the thinker trying to f doubt everything, lacking belief, lacking faith, looking into things, making up facts that I don't currently have. It's a fun game, don't get me wrong, but that's what doubting can do for you. Hopefully this helps align your hopes and expectations, and when you do that, Fantastic things happened. It's beautiful. Stan Radio Style. Hope you guys enjoy. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Click the little subscribe button. I always appreciate that. And if you're interested in helping my channel, one of the most wonderful things or some of the things you can do that really make a difference is you can uh, comment, 
You can watch the videos. You can hit thumbs up. You can share them. All that stuff is the greatest way to help my channel and certainly hopefully help spread this to people that want to hear it, right? I don't know. Some people seem to like me. I don't know why. <laughs> but you guys are the best. I love you all. And I just love talking about this stuff. So, hey, what are you, what are you going to do? There you go. Uh, more great videos coming your way. Feel free to throw some of those in the comments as well. Questions about future future topics or maybe, uh, maybe even ask some questions sometimes. If they're simple to answer, I'll do it in the comments frequently. But if not, uh, I can do future shows on those as well. Always good times as well. Thank you so much. We'll be talking to you tomorrow. Thank you, guys. Bye.